What's up YouTube, it's Angry Feedy Arts. My name is Louis Ning Chong. I am the artist of this channel. Today's video is going to be about the history of graffiti. Before we start, if you like this video, give it a like, comment, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. And watch me create my graffiti in the video where I talk about the history of graffiti. When I was younger, I understood that graffiti started in New York. But as I started to research on the subject, this is what I found out. The first traditional graffiti was created in Egypt, Greece, and Rome. For example, if we look at the pyramids of Egypt, you see the drawings on the wall and art on the caves in Europe. They started the concept on the, on the wall. The graffiti, the word graffiti came from the Italian word graffito. It means made by scratching or engraving an art surface on the wall. The first modern graffiti was started in the 1960s by a writer named Cornbread. He was a high school student from Philadelphia. He started writing on the wall to impress his girlfriend. Around the 1970s, the movement was started from in Philadelphia and went to New York City. It went to Washington Heights writers like Taki 183 and many others. They started writing on the walls in New York City using graffiti names. It eventually spread in the subway in the system subway system by bombing the trains and the, the bubble letters became popular in the Bronx. Then after that, the new wild star came around after that. Artists like Tracy 168, Blade, Cope 2, and many others. And the tags was getting bigger, more stylized. Graffiti was getting more competitive and artists were putting their art all over the city. Then they got more creative using scenery and cartoon characters. The trains were used like a mural for graffiti art. The graffiti art got more creative around the 1970s and 1980s. Fab Five Freddy was one of the graffiti figures of that time. He said, what are the differences between Manhattan, Brooklyn, and the Bronx? They came out of the, they come out with the style Wild Style. Five Freddy, Five Five Freddy, he got his credit with hoping spreading the influence of graffiti and hip hop music beyond its early foundations in the Bronx. Finally, the graffiti art got noticed by the first time by Hugo Martinez Radio Gallery in the 1970s. But the growth of the graffiti was all over the subway system. Eventually, the mayor John Lindsay, he said, declared war on graffiti in 1972. He started to remove all graffiti off the subway. The Abraham Beam established a police squad to catch and arrest graffiti artists. Even though they did arrest many graffiti, artists, it was difficult to arrest all of them, so graffiti con continued its movement. After graffiti was associated with crime, the politicians took it more seriously. By the 1980s, the police force was increased. They started to use razor wire, guard dogs, and combined cleaning up the graffiti. They started to make the trains harder to paint on, so the graffiti artists took to the street. Many graffiti artists started becoming more territorial with the area they put the graffiti in, some joined gangs. At that time, after all the efforts from the police against graffiti was declined, but there was some kids from Europe who had some family from Queens and the Bronx. The young European teens liked what they saw about the graffiti, so they went back to Europe and took the influence from New York. They started a new movement, art movement in Europe, starting in London. In 1995, Mayor Wilberdorf Gilani set up a tax force to combat graffiti in the New York City. In the same time, in that year, they started to ban sale of aerosol cans to children under 18 years old. The law requires that all spray cans be locked up in the shelf. There are three major types of graffiti, the tags, throw up, and wild style. Now, the tags are is the ease and simplest stylized graffiti just writing the name on the wall. The trope is like a graffiti name is drawn on the wall but in bubblers and it is done quickly. Wild Style is a graffiti name that is letters drawn abstractly. The, f the, f the artist who made graffiti famous was artist named Bansky. He's the one who made street art popular. Since the 1980s, the galleries took the graffiti art movement seriously. The galleries started to display graffiti art in the galleries. Artists like Jean Michael Biscuit, who started tagging on the walls and he used the same Samo also, the name Samo, also Keith Herring and many others. 
Hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comment section. My name is Louis Ning Chong. Thank you for watching.